Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode, this podcast of Stylish Leadership here with Mark Nash again from Kuvita Coffee. Check him out at Kuvita, uh, Kuvita.com. Is Kuvita that it? Coffee.com. Kuvita Coffee.com. Check me out at SimsEssentials.com and Sims Essentials across all social media. Also, SimmonsEssentials.podbean.com. And you'll get an archive on all of these uh, podcast episodes here. If you don't watch, if you don't listen to them, you're missing out. If you don't watch the show Stylish Leadership on YouTube, you're missing out. Just Google Stylish Leadership and you'll find our episodes. So we are talking about, we've talked about the why, we've talked about the what, and now we're talking about the how. This is where we actually implement what it is you found that you want to do. So this is where we're talking about like daily scheduling, planning, and all that. So we were talking about goals as well, so this is what we're going to talk about here. So, Mark, take it away. Um, thank you once again for having me on the show, Matthew. It's always a, a blast when we get together. Um, I encourage our podcast listeners to look at, listen to the previous episodes because there's just so much um, quality information out here that we're discussing. And a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of up-and-coming leaders are looking for the resources to uh, find out what's their next step, how to take that, and, and how to make it matter, how to make a difference. So in our previous episodes, we've talked about why. Why do you start a business? Why do you do what you do? What are you passionate about? And, and, and the why that drives an organization. As leaders start to develop leaders beneath them, as they start working with their company culture, Everybody has to buy into the why because that will unify and, and drive your organization. And once the why is clearly um, identified, then you can start working on your what. That would be your product that you sell or the service that you render. So we hire people into our organizations because we have a common why. And then we sell to people who have value in our what and then this episode we're going to be talking about how this is the biggest barrier to entrepreneurship i see so many entrepreneurs they have an excellent why they know who they are they know why they exist they have an excellent what a product that is valuable and in high demand and then they fail to execute on how because we all know that um, intent is so important one of our last uh, episodes we talked about be intentional be intentional the thing that you are focusing on the thing that you're being intentional that's where you're going to see success that's where you're going to see the achievement of your goals if you are being intentional concerning your health and your fitness you will see goals achieved in your health and fitness if you're being intentional about your education you will see goals achieved in your education and it goes like a double-edged sword if you're being unintentional in your finances you're gonna see some 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 problems in your finances if you're being unintentional about your diet don't be surprised when you look at the calendar and notice that you've eaten nothing but junk food for the last three weeks because you're being unintentional so on this episode we're gonna talk about um, the the why the what and and now the how and and our key word for this episode is be intentional. Yeah. So for one thing, I do every morning when I wake up, right next to my right next to my bed, I have a I have a journal and I have a pen and I right when I wake up, I look at that and I'm reminded of my goals and I write down my goals every single day, the ones that I have. Some are more long term, some are more short term. And I write them down, and there's about like only about five or six of them. And I got that from the 10X rule by Grant Cardone. Said keep it right there. And I write them down as more like affirmations, but I know that they're they're goals, but they're like goals written in an affirmation way. And I do that every morning. I've done it every morning this year, and it's really starting to pay off. I keep it in front of me. I say my affirmations every day in the car, and I speak life over myself. I use scripture verses. I use things that I want to get accomplished. So those are all things, and I say things that I'm. I might not be right now, but I want to be in the future. And I'm telling myself that every day over and over and over and over and over again and over and over and over and over again. And I read daily. I self-improve daily. And that keeps me in a frame of mind. So then I know, okay, this is what I need to do today. I'm going to go in. I'm going to record this many shows. I'm going to call this many people. I'm going to talk to this many people. That's the schedule. And then, you know, you play, I schedule in time to be me and just, you know, relax. Maybe it's a nap. Maybe it's a, you know, I, I play music. Maybe it's a... I go to lunch with a friend, whatever it is that day that I feel like I need to, to keep myself fresh and charged, but then I go back at it, and I just you know follow that, follow that routine and, and have a plan. You're not necessarily going to stick to it, but follow a plan, 
but also I've also discovered myself and how I think and how I tick. And um, and so in a in the next episode, I want to talk about about self discovery because I think that's very important because I went on a journey that doing that this this year. So those are just some hows to do it. And then you also want to follow the how of getting your job done. Maybe there's a certain quote you have to hit. Maybe there's a certain task you have to do. Maybe there's a certain list you have to write. Do all of those tangible things that you know your company teaches you, your job teaches you, your business needs of you. I can't teach you those things because we're not in the same industry more than likely. If we are, then you know what you need to do. It's just whatever it is you need to do, just do it. But I don't but people really know that. People surprisingly know what they need to do, but a lot of times they don't know that they can do it because they don't have the confidence in them. So I think the first step in the how is the self-confidence and believe in yourself. And then you need to actually implement the the business more technical plan of the, you know, this is how many people we have to call to sell this product or this is how many people we have to call to recruit this many people. Or, this is what I need to do to make this much, you know, money here. The the more, you know, the more technical aspects that will make you the money. But before we can even get you to the point where you make the money, you have to believe in yourself. And that's why I really thrive in is just get you to that point because people know what to do and they're willing to do it once they know they can do it. So, man, that is excellent information right there. There's excellent advice on how to have a plan, how to stick to that plan. I love what you said about how you wake up in the morning, you write down your goals and whether you achieve those goals or not, you know, for that day. These are my goals. This is what I'm aiming at. Because if you're not aiming at your target, you are so likely to miss. But if you put your eye on that target and you aim, you increase your odds of actually achieving your goals. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. And your mind will say, okay, re re repetition is the key to mastery, particularly your mind. You're training your mind to say, this is what we need to do. So this is what we're. If you keep telling yourself something long enough, you're going to believe it, good or bad. Many people don't believe in themselves, so they've told themselves what they can't do for so long, and they believe it. But if you tell yourself what you can do for so long, that's why it's it's people who were raised in a very wealthy or successful home. That's why they become successful immediately, because they it's not because they inherited it. It's because they inherited a belief system that can get them anywhere in life faster than the average person. So. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up, but in the next one, we're going to have Mark, and we're also going to have AJ come on here, the producer, and we're going to talk about believing in yourself, and I'm going to talk about my Kindle life language uh, profile, because I think that's very that's very important, and we're going to talk about that one. So tune into the next podcast episode, kavitacoffee.com, simsessentials.com. Go check them out. If you don't, you're missing out. Own your own style. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. Join us in the next podcast. Peace.